Hello, it is Throwback Thursday, April 16th, 2020. April 16th, the day after tax day. Oh, that's right. Nothing is normal this time. Uh, it's been extended, I think, three months till July 15th, the deadline to file taxes and pay the taxes. Anyway, so uh, I'm throwing it back to not too long ago. Do you even remember when the world was a normal place? And businesses were not deemed non-essential. You're shut down. Uh, I mean, I did a vid whole video on this, but non-essential business? Uh, uh, how, how could that be possible? How could an essential, a business not be essential to its owner? Not be essential to its employees? We're now at record unemployment in America, more than the Great Depression. How could it be not essential to the suppliers? I mean, companies track everything in terms of percents. One percent, two percent, half a percent makes a big difference. If a supplier loses an account, if a business stops be, be, being a customer, buying from them, like, oh, we got to replace that. We got well, so you shut down massive businesses. You're, you're messing with the entire economy. It's an interwoven organism, an economy, and they have completely destroyed this one. So, not throwing it back to too long ago, um, but it was a few weeks ago on my videos and people I talked to. I remember having a friend of ours over here who's a handyman, and uh, it was just about a week ago. We were talking about this, and I'm like, you know, I'm getting really sick and tired of this, and uh, people are getting pretty fed up, and they're not going to stand for this much longer. And he said, yeah, but if you talk about it, you're, you're put to shame. Oh, you want to kill people. Oh, you think uh, money is more important than lives and the economy is more important than people's health. And, uh, you know, it's not an either or. Like last I checked, the economy is extremely important to people's health. People that don't have a job fall into despair if they lose their, their business. I mean, I remember seeing, you know, I wasn't alive, but the Great Depression, uh, the, the stock market crash, black whatever they called it, you know, the big crash in 29, and people were jumping out of windows. Oh, they, when you lose your money, when you lose your business, uh, suicide rates go up, depression goes up, domestic violence goes up, all kinds of stuff. So that's what's happening right now. So, yeah, you're saving a few lives that would die from this extreme flu virus, whatever you want to call it, um, but less people are dying from... Uh, car crashes because there are no cars on the road uh more people going into depression more people are and and it's and people aren't going to come out of it anytime soon so i'm not going to go into a rant but i am seeing turned on the news today first time in a while and i saw that there's a few protests going on people are lining up in their cars and honking horns and protesting at the state house or the governor's mansion or whatever the heck they were doing i don't know if I remember where it was but just getting started Hey, we've been locked down and shut in and told we don't have our First Amendment rights anymore. We don't have a right to assemble. We don't have a right to worship. Uh, you know, last I checked, those are fundamental rights. The Constitution says inalienable. Can't take them away. Uh, it doesn't say asterisk unless you feel like it, unless you get everybody all ginned up over a virus that... Well, don't get me started. I mean, uh, the death count is lower than than other flus and other SARS and this and that that comes along every now and then. This won't be the last one. So if we go this meekly and allow them to whatever, whatever you're doing, we just decide we don't need you. So see ya. And uh, to their credit, these people are protesting, saying we want to work. We want to work, okay? Uh, so it had to be somewhere in middle America, not on the coasts, where people would be very happy with their socialist handouts and bailouts and loans and grants and whatever. But in the Midwest, uh, people want to work. They don't want to hand out. They don't want to bail out. They want to be allowed to go work, to produce, to put food on the table, put money in their pocket. They're not saying, hey, government, give me money. They're saying, hey, government, stop locking me up in my own home. I want to go work. Hopefully that's you. As a business owner, and hopefully you are working as a business owner and entrepreneur, uh, you understand, uh, you know, there's a saying, I was discussing it, I've been interviewed on 
radio, TV, podcast nonstop for the past few weeks. And I was saying on one of them uh, that there's, uh, well, now I lost my train of thought because I see all these questions coming up. And who's here? Oh, it scrolled and I missed it. But I see uh, Jeremy Danley is here. Jeremy says, we received a 50, I'm going to assume dollar, $50 rebate from our car insurance. Oh, yeah, right. The car insurance company. So you got a rebate from car insurance because less accidents and less driving. And, uh, you know, in other words, the car insurance company is, the insur- as always, the insurance companies are making a killing. Uh, good marketing. Yeah, great. First of all, good marketing move, although, yeah, it's a good PR move. Because they get, uh, for an insurance company, to get any warm and fuzzy feelings, who the heck ever likes an insurance company? But it's really, uh, it's a really smart PR move because they are making a killing. With, since there are no car accidents, they're not paying anything out. So they are just saving billions of dollars in the last month with people not driving. And even if anyone is driving, since the roads are empty, it's pretty tough to get in a car accident. Although I saw the other day in the snow, there was some massive pile up in Chicago, the city I lived in and near for uh, about 15 years. Uh, but in general, of course, car accidents way down. And so insurance companies saying, we're going to give you 25 bucks, 15%, $50, whatever it is, uh, drop in a bucket compared to the money they're saving by not processing claims. So yeah, great move by them. And very similar to local gyms. Now, I know uh, that the one that uh, my beautiful wife Michelle is a member of right here in our community, they still whacking us for the charge on the first of the month. And she calls up and nobody answers, of course, because the whole thing is shut down. I mean, a little strange for a gym to be, or, or you know, if there was a restaurant with a membership, a gym with a membership, anywhere that's shut down, pretty strange that they're still charging. You see the lead from the insurance companies when you mention it. What good PR move, not to mention just makes sense being a human being if you're totally shut down for a gym to say, we're not charging you this month. In fact, I'm going to be posting into my private Profit from Chaos Facebook group about a gym that is doing a phenomenal promotion. I'm going to post that in there tomorrow. So if you want to get an invite to my private Facebook group, Profit from Chaos, and join us and learn every day, I'll post a new example of an entrepreneur or a business owner getting creative and coming up with a new way to present their business to the public and get paid in multiple ways. Uh, we're having fun. People are posting their own examples, posting examples of other companies, uh, just to hang out with some positive people, opportunity minded. Uh, yeah, this is what I was saying. That reminds me. This is what I was saying on the interview. You've heard the saying, buy low, sell high. Well, when you really think about it, buy low means that uh, it's a pretty rough situation for whatever you're buying. You know, if you're buying a house and it's low, what does that mean? There was some damage to it or the person, you know, pretty much just had to sell because they lost their job or they're moving or whatever. Or maybe the whole, uh, whole community is in big trouble. All the housing prices are dropping. Right now, stock prices way down. Like, buy low. It means there's a distressed, troubled crisis situation. However, the money is made when you buy. Well, that's what's happening now in the business community. It is time to work. It is time to invest your time, your energy, your money. It's time to put in all kinds of new strategies, tactics. If you don't come out of this shutdown with a new stream of income or several, with learning a new skill or several, with a new way to position your business or several, what a complete waste. This is the low time. This is the time to buy. This is the time to put the pedal to the metal. And by the way, that's all part of my free report called How to Profit from Chaos, which is at ProfitFromChaos.com. And that's where you go. You get the free report and you get an invitation to apply to join my private Profit from Chaos Facebook group. Now, you do have to apply to join. So you go to Profit from Chaos. You definitely get my free report. It's free. How to Profit from Chaos. It'll help you out. But you do have to apply to join the private group because I don't want anybody in there who's bitching and moaning and thinking it's such a great idea that we're locking people in the houses and you've bought into all the fear and panic 
and all the BS that he'd been fed that somehow, uh, you know, we should now take no risks and act as if we're afraid of everything and suddenly be in suspicion of our neighbors, that we're no longer loving, caring of our neighbors. Now we're suspicious they're going to kill us. So they better not come within six feet of me and they better be wearing a mask if they do because they might be one of these asymptomatic secret carriers that's going to kill me. And that's how I look at all my neighbors now. I mean, who, whatever's going on here, it's a dream of people that just hate uh, America, freedom, uh, people getting along, all kinds of crap is going on. And to me, if you ask me, it's just getting started. People are getting sick and tired of being told, at least here in America. So it gives me this, this gives you a taste. And I think about it, what it must be like to live in an authoritarian regime under a dictator like China or uh, North Korea, where you have no freedom ever. But here in America, where we have freedom normally, you take it away for a month and we are feeling it. And I think the protests are gonna continue. And I think people are just gonna defy the rulings and gonna get out and do stuff. And so the question is, where are you and your business gonna be? Are you right now restless? Are you pretty much protesting the shutdown and saying, I'm not gonna be shut down? I'm not gonna sit around and watch Netflix movies all day. I'm gonna work on myself, on my business. I'm gonna get some things done. I'm gonna look back and say, yeah, when it was at the lowest time, that's when I bought. That's when I invested. That's when I put in more time, effort, money, thought into building my business than I ever did when it was booming, because that's when it was high and everybody's just getting some customers and making some money. But you can make a humongous, big, tremendous leap by buying low. That's when fortunes are made. Now the time is to buy. It's to buy market share. It's to buy future business. It's to buy additional streams of income. It's to put the pedal to the metal. Go to ProfitFromChaos.com. I'll help you do it. And if you join my Profit From Chaos Facebook group every single day, I'll give you some more inspiration and some more step-by-step uh, strategies and tactics, exactly what you can do to take advantage of this buy low time. Because it isn't gonna last forever. People are getting restless already and things are gonna start opening up pretty soon. Then you're gonna get back and be busy in the doing of your business. Right now is the time to be getting ahead. Put some systems, some strategies into place. Set yourself up pretty for the future. That's my advice to you on Throwback Thursday. And Jeremy says, uh, <sighs> maybe I should put my glasses on. It came. Shouldn't be that much in disguise because there's a whole saying, buy low. The low time is the best time to put the pedal to the metal, to be forward thinking, to be opportunity minded. There's a saying, but I guess the people that are sitting there depressed when it's low, then I guess they don't believe the saying buy low. They must think I'm only going to be happy when the economy's booming and things are happening. Well, uh, yeah, that's great, but that's not what the opportunity is. The opportunity is to buy, to invest, to work when it's low. That's right now. And besides, if you own your own business, hopefully you love what you're doing or you're in the wrong business. So you ought to love right now putting the pedal to the metal and working harder than you ever have and investing more time, energy, and money into learning some new strategies, tactics, putting them into place, positioning yourself for now and the future to come out so rosy on the other end of this thing. But like I said, I think the end is fairly near. Uh, I believe that the large events, concerts, sporting events, uh, those different story. You can't just go protesting and say we're going to attend sporting events. That might not be happening for a while. But uh, businesses are going to start opening up. People are going to start getting back to normal. And then you're going to look back and go, oh, boy, during that shutdown, I had a lot of time. I really could have put a new revenue stream into place. I really could have learned some new skills. I could have adjusted my attitude. So hopefully you do that. And I'll be back again to help you do that tomorrow on Foundation Friday. Thank you, Jeremy, for the input. Thanks to everybody else here live on the replay. You Notice like Jeremy did post a comment below wherever you're watching, listening, or reading this. I always respond when appropriate. Go to Profit From Chaos. Get my free report, How to Profit From Chaos, and join us 
in our rocking, brand new private Facebook group, Profit from Chaos. See you there. Over and out. Bye-bye.